Hi guys, it's just a bit of a quick one. Um, I noticed a lot of people on the various Kashkai groups on Facebook and the like um, are having an issue with their stereo. Um, there's a relatively common fault. Um, in a nutshell, you may find your Bluetooth may be up and down, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it just completely cuts off. Same with the radio, you'll listen to the radio or a song and it will just turn off or it will just go mute and then it will come back. It's a pretty common issue. Um, again, in a nutshell, uh, Nissan released an update that would have been put onto your car the last time it was put into a Nissan dealer for a service. <coughs> Theoretically, if you've got a used one, then earlier in its life. They did an update and they accidentally set the location of your system to Russia. And that isn't a joke, that is genuinely what happened. Um, because of DAB, the way it works, it was all right, but recently with, with tuning changes and stuff in the digital broadcasting um, signal, it's been found out a little bit. Excuse the phone. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that's the issue. Your car thinks it's in Russia. It's not, obviously. Now, um, the thing I say to a lot of people is you just need to get it into a Nissan dealer. There was a free upgrade, a free software update that came out. Don't quote me on this. I think it was the end of 2019 with COVID. My head's a bit scrambled. I don't know exactly when it was. I'm sure it was just pre-COVID. So I'm going to say the end of 2019. Um, free update, which dealers were told, official Nissan dealers, so like my Nissan dealer nearby is a Evans Hellshaw, I think it is. You may have a Reg Vardy or the like, whatever. They were told there's a free update, you need to apply it to cars. The owners weren't contacted, unless you were the owner from new, um, therefore you may not have been contacted. Now, I had this issue, and like a lot of people are finding, Nissan, if you go to your Nissan dealer, they will say, okay, we need to put it under diagnostics, which is normally a £60 or £90 or a silly figure fee. Don't get me started on diagnostic fees. But they will put it on a diagnostic, and that diagnostic will go, oh yeah, you need an update, which they know, but it's easy money for them. So if you go to your dealer, they will charge you X amount of money to get it plugged in, and then they'll give you that free update. Do not do that, okay? I'm being the Martin Lewis of Cash Guys here. Do not do that. What you need to do is contact Nissan's customer service phone number, okay? That phone number is, let me just bring it back up again. Do, do, do. Hopefully you got a piece of pen, a uh, piece of pen, a piece of paper and a pen, otherwise I will put it in the description. That phone number is 0330-123-1231. That's 0330-123-1231, okay? If you ring up, and pretty much as soon as you say, I've got an issue with my stereo, they'll know where you're going, okay? And what they should do, in my case, this is why I'm with me, they gave me a, um, I forgot the name, a number, a code, basically. And that number, I took it to my local dealer, and I said, hello, I've been in touch with Nissan Customer Service UK. They've told me my car needs an update, and they've told me to give you this number. It's like a, a product number or something, and I can't remember how many digits it was. Obviously, you write that down. They then will go onto their system, they will put your reg in, they will put that number in and go, oh yeah, this car needs this update, and they will do it. That's the easiest thing to do, okay? You can, if you are feeling seriously up to it, you can do this update yourself, but there is a potential for you to what's called brick your system, which means if it goes wrong, your stereo will be dead, irreversibly dead. And obviously a new stereo, God knows how much that is from Nissan. Used ones, well, a used uh, upgrade. I had to say to one on Amazon, I think that's best part of 400 pounds, 450 pounds. So it's not worth doing yourself. You can do it yourself if you find these files online. Feel free to have a go not on my back. It's so much easier for you to take it to Nissan and they will do it. The reason it's difficult and there's issues is I think your car needs to be running. It's not a quick plug-in, five-second jobby. It's it's about an hour-long update and if your car cuts off or anything interrupts that update, your system's bricked. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that phone number was 0330-123-1231. Nice and easy to remember is the Nissan UK call centre. So, obviously, I know I've got some international viewers, which is brilliant, I don't think that will be the phone number for you. All you need to do is search for your country's customer service number. There will be a customer service um, call center for your country somewhere. So that number is for the UK only. I must stress that. But yeah, I just noticed it. I've had uh, someone asking about it, saying, you know, my dealer's trying to charge me, I 
he said £99 it's, it's a rip off and a lot of people unfortunately will go okay and they'll pay them the £99 for something that should be free hello this is Dan from the future here um, I got to the end of that part of this part of the video and I thought to myself I hope I'm talking right so I decided to ring up Nissan uh, UK on that phone number myself and find out so you're about to hear the end of the call it was quite a long call because the first person I spoke to wasn't too sure what I was asking about but then I got through to a guy who knew what I was on about and he was really helpful um, for some reason I don't know if it's my new phone or something there was a real delay which is really odd which I explained at the start of the call or at the start of the bit you're about to hear but it's very interesting you will hear it here from the horse's mouth as such Hello there. Hello. Hi mate, uh, sorry about that. Um, a few, I'm just uh, picking up his car, just wanted to uh, get a bit of an adoration, I'm just um, not entirely sure. Um, so just to, can you just run me through, summarise the case for me again please? Yeah sure, just before I start, there's a bit of a delay to this call it seems, I don't know why, so if I go quiet that's why. Um, so what it is, is I'm a... A sort of Qashqai specialist, Nissan Qashqai specialist, and I've got a few people that have got an issue with their <coughs> Connect 3 stereo system. Um, I know that there was a software update released, um, I think it was last year, uh, to fix an issue that caused it to drop a radio signal and drop Bluetooth connection randomly. Um, the issue I've got is that a few of them have had an issue where they've been going to their Nissan dealers, be it uh, Evans Halshaw and, and Reg Vardy and the like, and the Nissan dealer have tried to uh, charge them for a diagnostic fee. Um, I was under the impression that this was a free update released by okay. Nissan UK, um, which I had done on my car before free of charge. So I'm just trying to find out, should they be being charged a diagnostic fee or not? So if they've if they're experiencing any issues, do they just need to give this phone number a call? If they if they, if they contact the dealership and the dealership's insisting, uh, despite you saying the software update should be done free of charge because of the built-in, if they still insist, yeah, give us a give us a call. Uh, we can call then call the dealership on their behalf and explain that they they have this issue. There is a bulletin. I can send them a link to the bulletin. Right, that is brilliant. Thank you ever so much for your help. Not a problem at all, sir. Just before I let you go, is there anything else I can help with today? No, that's it. Thank you. If you just uh, can thank that previous uh, lady that I spoke to, I think I was I was sending her in swings and roundabouts trying to understand what I was asking for, but I appreciate we've got there in the end. Thank you. Not a problem at all, sir. Thank you very much for calling. I'll send my thanks as well. Okay, thank you. Bye. there you have it guys I've gone very dark because I'm just out of my I'm in the wrong part of the room so that was Nissan UK that is that 0330 phone number as you just heard that guy say that was a Nissan customer service representative if you're having issues so if you ring your dealer first and go I've got this issue blah 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 and they go okay bring it in we'll put it on the diagnostic fee that'll be 60 quid 99 quid whatever it is then just say well no this was an update bulletin as he said, if, if you argue the point, and if they're still adamant, nope, there'll be a diagnostic fee. Excuse me, I've had a beer, can you tell? Excuse the beer bold. <laughs> um, yeah, so then 
give that phone number a call 0330 123 1231. I'm going to have that in my head now, aren't I? Um, and they will sort you out. They will make sure that this um, update is done. As you hear him say, if they do do that update and it doesn't fix it for whatever reason, because I mean, you might have something you know physical like your um satellite antenna may have come loose somehow you know you might have gone through a big pothole and it's come loose then yes you are going to have to pay this diagnostic fee for them to work out what the issue is but that update if you've not had that update then that should be free of charge okay you heard it there from the nissan phone number i mean i couldn't i think i could show you that i was on the phone to them but you can see there um the last number that i called um, if it focuses, there you go. 0330 123 one, two, three, one. This is mirrored, this uh, screen is, this camera is. There you go, guys. I hope I can help you in that front. I do hate it when dealers try and make easy money. I don't know why they do it. Well, I do know why they do it. Everyone's in a business then at the end of the day. So I hope I've helped you out, guys. Like I said, let me know below if, if I've helped you and if you managed to get it sorted. Um, and that'd be great just to find out. But as ever, guys, if you could like the video, that makes a world of difference to me and if you could subscribe as well if you're not subscribed already and I will see you in the next video.